Welcome to this lesson on angles. So far, we've been measuring angles in degrees. In calculus and physics, we use a different kind of measurement that produces much simpler and elegant formulas. Let's use this protractor to help us. Look at the inner circle. We'll assign it a radius of one unit. To define this new concept, let's draw an angle, theta. Notice how the angle theta sweeps out an arc along the circle. The radian measure of theta is defined to be the length of this arc. Wow, what a great idea. Let's see what one radian looks like. The radian is roughly 57 degrees. Let's keep going around the circle. When the arc is two units, we get two radians. When the arc is three units, we get three radians. Keep going. When the arc is six units, we get six radians. We're almost back to where we started. Does anyone know what length makes one complete revolution? Yes, Chipmunk? The swept out arc is the entire circumference, which is equal to 2 pi times the radius. But the radius is 1. So the answer is 2 pi. Wow. You're incredible, Chipmunk. Now we've found a relationship between degrees and radians. 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. Let's write this equation in degree notation. Can we simplify it? Yes, we can divide both sides by 2. That gives us 180 degrees is pi radians. Let's use this to find a few special angles. These special angles are used a lot, so even though it's very obvious to derive, we usually memorize them. Divide each side by 2. We find that 90 degrees is pi over 2 radians. Divide each side by 2 again. We get 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians. Let's start again with 180 degrees is pi radians. Divide each side by 3. We find that 60 degrees is pi over 3 radians. Divide each side by 2. We get 30 degrees is pi over 6 radians. When the angles aren't that special, we'll need to use conversion formulas. Dividing both sides by 180, we get 1 degree is pi over 180 radians. Going the other way, divide both sides by pi. We get 1 radian is 180 over pi degrees. This is where the 57 degree approximation comes from because pi is roughly 3.14159 dot dot dot. Make sure you understand very well everything in this lesson before you move on to the examples. We'll solve those in part two. You can try them first and then see whether we get the same answers. Have fun. See you next time.